Today I wanted to make a little short video about the game of dominoes. Dominoes is like, was like a very popular game back in the old country and we used to play it at parties and so forth. We have like whenever like folks would visit our house we always take out the little domino set. So in dominoes you can either play it like and uh, dominoes at most is usually play with like uh, four people but if you have more folks you can just uh, spread the pieces out more. Alright that was a little loud. So yeah this is how your standard domino set looks like. The children's domino sets usually only work with like six pieces but for more advanced players, you play with nine. In each of the standard domino games, each, play, each player picks up a random piece that they cannot see, and the person who has the highest number is the one who gets to go first. When you start a domino game, you just you have to throw out a double piece, like so. And then other folks will the and then other players just has to match it. At the start of the game, you can start, you can like form a line. You can make a more four lines. Mm. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we are. There, four lines like that. And then you can either just put the pieces this way or that way. As it progresses and you run out of pieces, the winner is the one that has the least amount of points at the end or that somehow manages to like get rid of all of the little domino pieces that they have. Each player has to get the same number of pieces, but as with everything, there's ways to get around that. It is cheating is very common in the game of domino because it's really not play for money, it's just for fun. So then a common way to cheat in domino is that you put a piece that kinda looks like the well, that kinda looks like the the main ones that are being played. So if you don't have nine you can just throw a number eight and then just hope that nobody notices. This cheating is also easy, very easily done with the number five because, and the number four because the brain has the bad habit of filling in the gaps. So you can go several games of domino just cheating your way to win, and then like the brain just out of feels the information and nobody notices. So if you don't notice. If like the other players don't notice, then technically the cheating never happened because you only cheat if you get caught. Another popular way of to cheat in domino is that they say that the game is gonna be played with ten with ten pieces. There. But then by spacing out the pieces in your board enough you can kind of like wiggle yourself into playing with less pieces so that gives you an advantage in, for, in order to progress the entire game. Mm, though, in, though sometimes even with all of the cheats in the world there just happens to be folks that manage to win without cheating. And then when that happens you just like whatever. Aside from like just playing regular domino you can another fun thing that you can do with it is just to like just stack it together and hopefully you make a wobbly stack and the taller you make it the more fun it is. That's another way that little kids play with dominoes. Another fun thing you can do with dominoes is just to like you angle them together in order to make a nice little fun visual gag. You can take as long as you need but sometimes you just tend to mess it up and then it ends up being short and then if you were going to make a video of it then like if they deploy early you just wasted a lot of time in your life. But depend, but, as, but, what's, um, but what's important is that you have fun while playing dominoes. Bye bye and God bless.